In this video, we'll set up a new GKE cluster using the gCloud CLI tool. Let's get started. For this video, we'll be using Cloud Shell from Google Cloud Console. Activate Cloud Shell. In Cloud Shell, we'll be setting up some configuration, like our project and the default location we want to deploy our Kubernetes cluster in. To set our project in configuration, run gcloud config set core slash project to our project, which is in this case Mophi Labs. To set our default location, we can set up the compute region by running gcloud config set compute region to US central one for this case. Before we can create a Kubernetes cluster, we might need to enable the Kubernetes API. To enable the Kubernetes API, you can run gcloud services enable container dot google apis dot com. We can run the following command to create an autopilot cluster in the US Central One location. gcloud container clusters create auto, give it a name. In this case, you're going to call it hello world and give it a region. US Central One. This command can take up to five minutes. So we'll wait a few minutes and we'll come back when the cluster is created. Our cluster is now ready. gCloud automatically sets up config so that we can talk to our cluster immediately. But if you want to download that configuration later or in a different shell environment, you can run gCloud container clusters credentials cluster name, in this case, hello world and then give us the region, in this case, US Central 1. We can now run cube control commands against our cluster. We can see how many nodes we have with cube control, get nodes, and we can see that we have two nodes here. We can also see what applications are running in our default namespace using cube control, get pods, and we'll see we have nothing running on the default namespace. In the next video, we'll deploy an application on the Kubernetes cluster we just created.